The red pillars shatter and the fake Mitsuru san melts. The soda fragments the, the melting fake spits out float up, becoming a ribbon of golden light flowing to the top of the tower, so he's gonna get even more energy. We're able to escape danger, but that damage we've taken isn't light either. Can't just run off and chase off to Minazuki immediately. In any case, let's sort the situation out. Give Yosuke and Chie some time to recover. We agree to now to sort suggestion and start sifting through all the information and speculations we have. Show is conspiring with the other Minazuki, and they enveloped this town in red fog. They then set things up so that we would fight our fakes here. When Persona users fight inside the red fog, their Persona is carved off into fragments, which are being harvested at the top of this tower. So the whole time, this P1 climax was just to gather our Persona fragments, right? Right. Then Sho and Minazuki are planning on using the gathered Persona fragments on whatever it is they're summoning with this tower. But what's Sho going through so much fuss to summon? How they intend to use the Persona fragments on this summoned entity, and what effects it'll have, remain to be seen. Yeah, but Minazuki said he was going to eradicate all living things by summoning this being. We can't let that happen. Minazuki's trying to fix it so no one else but Sho exists anymore, right? That's pretty serious. If that's what he's up to, we don't have much time left. We gotta hurry and stop him! Oh, hold on a sec. Um, there's something I was wondering about. Huh? What is it? Yeah. Um, that Minazuki guy told you he didn't have a split personality. Right, Yukon? Yeah, I definitely heard him say that. And, um, that's what made me think that maybe there's a plume of dusk stuck in it. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I told Naoto Kun this before, but the plume of dusk has to do with creating iguses in my hearts, right? When I met Minazaki, the plume of dusk inside me resonated, like when I first met Igis. So if Sho doesn't have split personality, but that Minazaki was a personality that showed up later, it got me wondering, huh? But how? Why? No, it's possible. Thinking about it, Mitsuru-san suspected that Labrys' kidnapper had ties to the Kirijo group. I looked into it as well, but during the reign of Koetsu Kirijo, Mitsuru-san's grandfather, a CEO of the Kirijo group, they performed many inhumane experiments, which led to the various shadow-related crises that Mitsuru-san's group continues to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if Sho was a victim of one of the experiments from that time. So... Are you saying Sho had one of those plume thingies stuck into him as an experiment? According to my theory, yes. Seriously? Heavy silence falls over us. If Sho's past was that horrible, it's no wonder he hates the world. I'd expect nothing less from the victim of inhuman, inhumane human experimentations, artificially born and then covered up. He probably doesn't even know the importance of the bonds that people form. Either way, we must hurry on. If we can rescue Mitsuru-san, she may be able to tell us more. Everyone nods and we begin heading to the top of the tower. Not one person has mentioned a word about our friends who aren't with us. Risei, Kanji, Teddy, Yukiko and the other shadow operators fighting alongside Labrys. But it's not because we're not worried about them. It's that we believe in our friends to look after themselves rather than go back to town to check on them. We can trust in them put all our energy into climbing this tower. We have to move fast if we want to prevent Sho and Minosuke's plan to protect the town that's so precious to us. Plus, we need to know what adachi sans really up to. I think, you know, a lot of what they just discussed, like, we kind of already figured it out, haven't we? I guess they were recapping it for the other characters. It's kind of like, oh, well, we already know. Labrys and I lend our respective shoulders to Yosuke and Chie. We are still recovering from their injuries as we climbed the stairs to the top of the tower. We thought that distorted stairs would lead to another maze-like hallway. They only go further and further and further up. Hey, we're at the end. There's a door. This is the door to the rooftop, right? I'm going to open it. Everyone nods and now to open the door. What we see beyond it is a bizarre area we've never laid eyes on before. Oh. Outside what looks like a landing, an enormous red moon shines bright in the sky. A countless cross-like objects embedded all over the ground too. 
making it seem like an execution ground. Where is this? It's not part of Yasogami High. That much is certain. I've never seen this area before. Hey! Over there! Is that... Mitsuda-san? Just like we saw on the Midnight Channel, Mitsuda-san is bound to the cross GA points too. Is she unconscious? Her head hangs limp and she doesn't react to Labris calling her name. As we try to hurry over to her, her figure moves to block our way. Deploying in close battlefield. You will go no further. The summon red pillars fall from the sky and surround us. Even here they're forcing these battles on us. I've been waiting for you, sister. You ain't Igis. You're a fake too. Elabris is right. That burning golden hue in the figure's eyes is a dead giveaway that it's a fake. Indeed, I am a fake, sister. But, but is the distinction necessary for us? What? We are weapons forged in the shape of humans. Aren't we all fakes from the start? <sighs> fakes of humans. Have you forgotten? We have no comrades. You even fought and killed your sister units, no. <laughs> Damn it, Labris, don't listen to her! Labris past, it's filled with gruesome memories of battle. Her makers advanced the product line by having their prototypes fight each other. She was forced to destroy her sister units. Basically kill the rest of her family, but... It's okay, Yosuke. What? But... Labris will be alright. That's right, in the P1 Grand Prix, Labris faced the shadow within her and accepted it. Our Labris standing with us now shouldn't be swayed by such a cheap trick. What's wrong, sister? Do you not hate humans? Yeah, I do hate humans. Then? But not like how you mean it. Sister? As much as I got a grudge against humans, it was humans that saved me. Yeah, the ones who made me did horrible things to me. To all the ones of my model. But hating all humans because of them is wrong. I like you, and Mitsuru-san, and all the rest of them. It ain't right for you to destroy the world they all live in. How unfortunate. I would have thought that you could understand my master, Show Minazuki's desire for solitude. His solitude? Don't waste your breath. I will see you die here, sister. Fake Igis and charges towards Labris at high speeds. This isn't good. Labris is tied up supporting Chie and is in no position to fight back. I have the same problem propping up Yosuke too, which leaves only one person who can deal with this right now. Naoto, I'm counting on you. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Naoto's persona summoned with perfect timing. Stops the fake Aikisan attack and forces it back. Naoto kun! Great move, Naoto! You really helped, Naoto kun? <laughs> Nonsense. Let's make ourselves clear. As long as we're around, we won't allow you to so much as lay a finger on Labrus. I don't know what kind of solitude you or your creator is suffering, but we don't lightly forgive anyone who hurts our friends. Then there is nothing more to discuss. Releasing limiters, switching to battle mode, annihilating targets. Hmm. I'm gonna do Naruto. Just because, even though Labris would be more appropriate, but they're facing each other right there, so it kind of seems appropriate. Hmm. I wonder, um,. If, if, like, uh, Persona 5 is going to be, uh, like, in 2015, or if it, they're going to, like... Because most... Every single Persona game has been in the future. Uh, and this before my... Well, okay. Persona... Persona 4 Gold might have been, actually, the, practically the right time, actually, when it came out in Japan. But they've all, all been, like, about three years ahead, so... I wonder how, it's, how that's going to go. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing perfectly. I'm not too bad. Um, 
That's a little. As I've said a thousand billion times, hard to talk and like play a video game. You know. There we go. Game over. Well, okay. KO. Yeah, we sure did. That wasn't too difficult. Hopefully we get some backup soon. I imagine we will.